Hello Stampers, this is Richard Garay from Fun Stampers Journey. Yesterday I showed you how to create the postcard for January as well as how it easily comes in and out of your postcard easel or our postcard easel from Fun Stampers Journey. Um, and today I want to show you how I created the postcard for February. I used our XOXO stamp set and again our XOXO stamp set just like the one from yesterday is only at 75% shown on the artboard but it is significantly larger um, as you can see here this is the actual size of the stamp some of our older sets came that way to be able to fit them all into the artboard but now let me show you how I created my Feb February uh, postcard I'm simply going to use strawberry cream true color fusion to create a background and this is a very light color so it's perfect for my background so as you can see it's creating a very light background here and we'll leave it at that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, watermelon fusion to ink up the big heart in this stamp set I'm going to stamp that right in the middle or actually a little bit more to to the side just like that so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of scrap of whipped cream cardstock using candy apple true color fusion I'm going to stamp the smaller heart on that scrapped piece then I'm going to cut it out and use it as an embellishment. I've already done that earlier today. And I'm going to grab the Be Mine greeting and with black licorice, I'm going to stamp that right over here, just like that. So I hope you can see that a little better there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the back on the little foam squares. And I'm going to mount this right off the side here. Alright, so I'm pretty much almost all the way done. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to add some glossy accents. First I'm going to add glossy accents to the cutout heart. And I'm just going to scribble, squiggle all over the place here. No rhyme or reason. I just want a little bit of texture here. Then I'm going to grab some Journey Sparkle and add glitter to this. I'm going to remove the excess just here on my table. And now the heart sparkly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glossy accents to the big heart, to the entire heart, but not add any Journey Sparkle to the heart. It's just going to look like a raised and embossed piece. So completely cover the heart. with glossy accents glossy accents has a great way of evening out and what's great about our true color fusion ink pads is that they don't bleed to each other or they don't blend or lose their color um, that's why they're a true color fusion they're a, a combination between pigment and dye which makes it great to bring something like glossy accents um, right over it because it really brings out the color without fading the color so now what I'm going to do is make sure I don't have any pockets here. And I'm going to come back and add some to the B mine here. So just like this. Alright, so you'll set that aside to dry. And once it's completely dry, you'll have a piece that looks like this. And now you're ready to be able to switch your January to your February. Just like that. So I hope you've enjoyed your February postcard tutorial. Until next time, enjoy the journey.